Libra. What is up, beautiful beings? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Libra, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. Keep in mind that we do all have a seventh house as part of our birth chart, and time and energy are very much fluid. So take what resonates here today and leave the rest for someone else. Uh, these readings are also timeless. So whenever you stumble across this message or this message finds you, there will be something in it for you to help, you know, bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help you align. Tapping into your energy today, Libra, I use this faceted garden, or no, I'm sorry, I use this illuminated earth oracle deck today, along with the keepers of the light, just to catch the vibe, see what spirit's trying to say as I'm connecting with the collective energy and putting your energy into these cards. And quite a few cards came through from the Illuminated Earth today. Um, and then I grabbed, I decided to grab a couple from the Keepers of the Light as well, just to kind of throw another dimension in there. But I'm seeing an ending and a major kind of reset here. All right, we'll run through these cards and then we will break it down. We started the first card actually to come out for Libra today was this Anguish card. Then we have the moon. And we have this reflection card. Okay. Then we have blocked. Destruction and eruption. Right? So what I feel here really, I mean, especially with the south node being in your sign, the north node being in Aries, Libra, it's like you're closing out a major cycle. There's blockages internally and externally being cleared being removed for you at this time it doesn't obviously it doesn't feel like it's the easiest energy for you to um you know move through at this time but i i see on the bottom of the deck i see the accomplishment card so i see this is like the victory right this is all about you following this white rabbit through this period of time through this portal really right we have divine alchemy with the holy amethyst card right very similar to temperance this is you turning this what's leaden into this gold right and you're taking anything that's being broken down broken apart torn down right um and you're turning this into gold you're turning it into wisdom and you're turning it into this this new life that you're moving into so you have kuan yin as well and this says, choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. And then we have Lord Krishna coming through as well. This is all about devotion. It says, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized and you are loved unconditionally. Um, so to put it very simply, Libra, you're stepping into a new world. There's blockages being removed. This is this is ascension right here. You're moving to the next level. Bottom of the Keepers of the Light, um, we have the Mercury energy, which is actually retrograde at the time of recording this message. It says, open communication, get a weight off your chest, speak up with love, and be heard. So there may be something about speaking your truth or communicating through this energy to to help get through it this may even have to do with sharing your story or teaching others um you know from from what you've acquired along your journey so i'm going to pray real quick libra this is going to be a big message today this is going to be a deep one this is soul level stuff here um so feel free to join me in prayer and then we'll dive into this message king of swords hanged man on the bottom of the deck right <clears throat> Through everything we've been through, we've learned so much. We've gained a new perspective on life. Now the divine is asking us to move from that space, to take what we've learned and really put the, this wisdom and these tools in, in motion. Holy Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, Messages for my Libra family today for their highest good. Anything Libra needs to hear or know. Any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation. Any messages that will empower Libra. Aries energy coming through. Any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding. Any messages that will help Libra align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives. Of course, above all. Any messages today that will help my Libra family align with the highest divine will. 
for their lives will be truly greatly appreciated. All praise and glory to the Most High forever and ever. Um, amen. Ashe. Holy Spirit, what's the theme? What's the theme today? What's the theme today? Star. Huh. Fool. There's our swords again with the Knight of Swords. So again, maybe speaking, making decisions, um, gaining clarity, moving forward. Yo, full star and the sun out here for you today, Libra. Having two of the best cards you could have right here in the theme of your message lets me know that whatever eruption, destruction, blocked, anguish, you may be experiencing or have experienced is absolutely not in vain. This is, again, like we were just saying, deep soul level healing here. This is awakening. This is higher consciousness, enlightenment, right? And truly a clean slate starting back at ground zero as we move into a new adventure. So very, very beautiful energy with the world on the bottom of the tarot deck. So absolutely ending a major cycle. Libra, we're going to start off by jumping into your current energy at the heart of this message and we'll take it from there so what do we have going on for libra please holy spirit what is libra's energy at this time at the heart of their situation ten of swords y'all moving on five of pentacles no longer staying stuck in this energy where it's like feeling like we we cannot we're, we're so far away from our goals and our dreams right where we're not good enough or we don't have enough or we're in relationships with people who are making us feel less than who are hurting us who are crossing our boundaries who are gaslighting us right seven of swords to the ten of swords this is an ending but this is an ending of a dark of a dark chapter two of wands this is the turning point for you libra and i see libra literally in the process of like shifting here here we were fully in this timeline now is when you're literally like in the midst of shifting your internal conscious focus and awareness toward this new chapter toward this clean slate right <clears throat> So there's a lot, there's a lot of moving, pe a lot of moving parts here, you know, as you're stepping through this portal, Libra, there are old thought patterns, old habits, um, old ways of doing things, old ways of seeing the world, old, old ways of being that are literally being cleared from your soul. You have grown, you have truly changed as a being and you're moving from a different space. So there's a lot of clearing it feels like happening right now. For some of you with all of this Plutonian energy coming through, there could be some intense energies, arguments, fights, um, scuffles. Um, and I'm not saying that to evoke fear by any means, but this energy, it's its feeling like tower energy to me where I see the hand of the divine reaching into your reality, Libra, in order to help you get to this place, right? And really the message or the energy here, Libra, is you holding the line. You're standing in your power. You're not backing down, Libra. I see this is all about drawing the line in the sand and doing what's best for you right now with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. It's like we're clearing this old life to move toward what is truly fulfilling for us on a soul level at this time. So let's look into the energies that are crossing you right now, Libra. This can be basically what's helping and hindering you. Two of pence, nine of cups falling out. What energies are crossing Libra? I almost said Gemini. Maybe there's a Gemini crossing you. <laughs> um, maybe mental energies, thoughts. What energies are crossing the people around you? Possibly family, friends. <clears throat> To be honest, Libra, what I see here, and this may only be one side of it, for some of you, I see that you truly have a lot of support to move forward, to take action, to bet on yourself, to do it, to speak it, to say it, to tell it, to um, just go for it, right? Especially with these energies being in the crossing positions, like this could actually be something that helps you. This is 
all about action. This is you receiving that internal ignition, that spark, and it's going with it, right? And it looks like for some of you, there's a lot of people supporting, and I'm hearing as well, the cosmos supporting you at this time. Some of you, you're probably closing doors on old relationships and situations, right? And really saying, you know what, I got to do what's best for me. I'm going for it. So let's see where this is coming from. Where's Where are these energies stemming from right now, Spirit? The end of a cycle. The end of a world. Jeez. This is big energy, Libra. With that two of wands and temperance again. So patience as you bend this corner. Patience as things are coming into alignment for you. The way I've been seeing it is like, say we're at a play, right? We're kicking it in the audience. We just witnessed this this whole scene, this whole play, and they have closed the curtains. Now we're, we're kicking it. We can go get, get our popcorn, use the restroom, do whatever. We can chill, literally, right now. And we do not have to worry about the mo the movie, the play, what's going on behind the curtain, anything like that. Because when the curtain opens, the next scene is going to be set. The stage will be set. There's no way we will miss the curtain opening back up if we are here in our energy, in the moment, in presence, right? But if we're out here, if we go to the car, do an extra stuff, whatever, right, we could miss it. So obviously it's symbolic. I hope that makes sense for you. What I'm trying to say is there really is an energy of being in our own energy right now and kind of spending some us time and um, grounding down until until we see this light turn green, so to speak. So let's see what we have incoming for you, Libra. That two of, yeah, so there's some definite healing. This is very, very healing energy. What's incoming for Libra, please, Spirit? Magician, three of pence, nine of wands. So your boundaries are up, you're in your power, you're focused, and I do see um, possibly a situation coming together where you will be collaborating with others or people will be admiring your work here or, or just your path, your journey. What else is incoming? Wow, nine, nine, nine of pence and hermit. What's in, what's incoming for Gemini, for Libra? and coming through Libra. Wow, a lot of energy is coming through for you here, Libra. So Queen of Swords, 10 of Pentacles. You're on a mission here, yup. Two of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. You're 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 going. So this this helping and hindering energy, this movement, this going for it, this risk, whatever, I, this is where it feels like it's happening in this incoming energy. It feels like Libra, you're going, you know what? Let's go. I see my ten. Of, I know my ten of pentacles is on the other side of this door. So what this reading really feels like is this may be the energy you're feeling like you're in. But let's just take a second to notice this key against the door. Right. If you're feeling like the door is locked, the key is is somewhere where you're maybe not seeing it. So this is the doorway. What's the advice? Keep your focus where where you want to be. Keep your focus. End game. What's the advice for Libra? Archangel Metatron coming through for you, Libra. Um, what's the advice? And really, I, I, I really feel like the advice... Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands. It's like, hold the line, do what's best for you, let's go. Six of Pentacles. Pour into the things that are pouring back into you. Pour into the things that are pouring. This is all about building this new life. It really is. So it's a very potent time right now, Libra, to follow and trust your intuition and to move from that space, to put the work in or to you know move in whatever direction you're being guided. What's the advice for Libra? And you did get your own energy and the advice out here with the um, Empress, right? Seven of pence, seven of pence on the bottom. The moon. So you may not be able to see it yet, but this is truly about following your intuition, continuing 
your healing journey, connecting with yourself, honoring your healing journey. But ultimately, this is you um, also honoring this new start and taking care of yourself, pouring into yourself, loving yourself, standing in your power, speaking your voice, um, and and following your... I think the main message here is honor your intuition. There's a door closing and a door opening. You're being set free. This is holding the line, standing in your power, and opening up to receive your blessings as you climb this stairway to heaven, family. Let's grab some oracle cards. I'm going to clear some of these energies first. Some of you, the divines, it's about, some of you need to block someone. That's not a message for everyone. Only take it if that's what spirit has already told you. Um, but yeah, for some of you, there's like people or, or family or someone around you that really just, their energy is just kind of trash, to be honest. All right, what's the message for Libra and where are we at on time? We straight. What's the message for Libra, please, spirit? Obstacles, yup, an ego sublimation, vanishing mirror. <clears throat> this is some deep stuff. I, I definitely feel for this is heavy um, relationship energy. Doesn't have to be romantic either. Let's see, we got ego sublimation letting go of self-centeredness becoming a vessel of possibility do you ever wonder if your self-definition has become too rigid too fixed around what you've come to learn so that you contract yourself and life into zones of safe versus unsafe like this here is okay but that over there well that might be too risky judgment Fear, self-righteousness and overconfidence are only some of the traits that keep us from evolving We are all products of our conditioning, so remember that this is part of the human experience. Yet, you're not meant to remain static. Seeking only what you expect, even if it appears ambitious, is still too narrow. You go nowhere when you hesitate to move out of your comfort zone. When you focus too much on yourself this way, you become a servant of the ego and it edges God out, removing the magic of possibility. Imagine looking into a mirror and seeing only what you are now. If you can let your self-definition soften, moving beyond the veil of your potential, a magical emptiness exists where all things are possible. Look again. Who could you be? What would you see reflected if you allowed yourself to be other than how you define yourself now? Nothing less is required of you now. In this moment, let go of who you think you are and allow a new you to emerge. You will recognize yourself as what you are a partner in co-creation, in service to the divine. Doesn't it feel good? So what I feel on a, on a more subtle level here is for, some, for somebody connecting, you're in, you know, you're, you're literally psychic. You are very extremely intuitive, right? you're having this inner battle with yourself right now where the person that you you are you think you are right i'm this person with this name this skin color this blah 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 blah, blah. this person is in a battle with your spirit right now because this this person which is truly just an illusion does not want to let something happen because it's control comfort zone right and your spirit is like pulling you so truly honoring your intuition is what this message is all about in the hand the universe is your partner me and really self-love um libra so this is a big message i really feel like this is a literal pivot point on your soul's journey maybe for some of you one of the ma most massive uh shifts that you're gonna experience feels like you're literally moving into a new life so um be open to that be open to the blessings libra i'm telling you spirit got you right now family yeah and stay grounded you got the telepathy of the earth mother here so getting out in nature sitting by some water making a fire 
people dance in a windy field. What's the message for Libra? Yeshe so three 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 and salve poluti seven forty one. So definitely connect with that frequency if you're guided. It's a detox. It's a it's a it will really help to um, detox your energy. Seven hundred forty one hertz. All right, and this is three 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 number thirty three. Some of you guys may be noticing um, those numbers. Let's read this. So crazy because you got the obstacles card, right? It says you shall overcome all obstacles. Success is imminent. So stay connected to your path no matter what and continue to apply yourself. Spirits say y'all better apply that pressure, Libra. It says allow your spiritual path to support you in all areas of your life. Live by your spiritual beliefs. Seek out the comfort and support of your spiritual brothers and sisters for help when needed, but also trust that you're intimately and directly connected to the powerful divine light within. There can be a dramatic healing breakthrough when you rely upon your spiritual connection. Spirit says, let's spin that block. There can be a dramatic healing breakthrough when we rely upon our spiritual connection. Spiritual teachings from Bhutan hold the great Indian master Padmasambhava was called from Bhutan to Tibet to subdue demons that were causing difficulties for the people of the Paro Valley. He flew from Tibet to Bhutan on the back of a supernatural tigress, landing at a cave high up in the cliffs of Bhutan. He spent the next three years, three months, three weeks, and three days meditating and performing rituals to subdue the demons of the land, liberating Bhutan from terror into peace. The supernatural tigress is believed to have been Yashe Soyal, a yogini guardian for, for humanity and an emanation of the compassionate goddess of peace and prosperity and long life known as White Tara. <clears throat> Yashe Soyal's power is that of the tiger Siddha or medicine of the spirit tiger. Her presence in a reading indicates that boldness of spirit and willingness to engage your challenges will create the path to inevitable success you guys them energies crossing you were all wands ace of wands queen of wands right it's literally and so that's right there it says her presence in a reading indicates that a boldness of spirit and a willingness to engage your challenges will create the path to inevitable success she represents our ability to generate the spiritual power necessary to accomplish what needs to manifest for the greater good. This oracle encourages you to call upon your higher spiritual guides for assistance. Somebody fire alarms going off too. So somebody, spirit really trying to get somebody's attention. It says, um, this empowers your guides to bring their light to the world through you and for you to grow in your own spiritual advancement too. Remember, enlightenment's a team effort with extraordinary individual players working together as one. You belong on such a team. Tiger skin is depicted in sacred iconography to represent fearless enlightenment that cuts through all obstacles. Deities such as Tara and her fierce emanation of Ekajati and her ferocious expression as the wrathful protective feminine deity Paldin Lamo and wild lord Shiva are often pictured wearing or seated upon tiger skins. This represents the indomitable will that conquers negativities because it refuses to be overcome. Numerous divine beings are depicted moving through the worlds with the tiger as their sacred mount, enabling them to accomplish their spiritual purpose. Tiger is a symbol for navigating treacherous territory and the triumph of light over darkness. Tiger's spirit medicine can control the poisons of anger and hatred, transforming them into passion, clarity, and unwavering commitment to one's higher purpose. The Oracle of Yeshe Soyal 333 augurs empowerment and healing by assuming a confident attitude and taking steps forward. It indicates that a negative time is drawing to a close and it encourages commitment to the task of overcoming negativities through spiritual practices suited to you. It does not matter if you feel like a beginner or you're uncertain of how to meditate. For example, Yeshe Sogyal became enlightened because she made progress one step at a time, attracting the right teachers and guides to assist her. You have the precious gift of such a path. 
it is good karma to have such a path and it creates further good karma when you pursue it. The repeated three symbolizes that all manner of assistance and support will be granted to ensure your attainment. This will include the gifts of appropriate teachings and teachers, friends, healers, synchronicity, circumstance, and opportunity. Trust the universe and go for what you want with boldness and courage. Finally. Finally. Hold on. Let's see where we went. Finally, this oracle indicates triumph over even the most severely negative energies with the help of the supernatural invention, if need be. To activate that blessing, be determined to prevail. Fully empower the beneficial workings of light in your life and in our world. Truly, Libra, you are a light worker. Embrace it and live it. Embrace it and live that shit, gang. Let's grab one of these... Um, moonology cards i hope you're able to take something from this message libra um i want to say thank you for stopping through and showing up showing love like y'all do for those of you that this is that this does ring true this is truly a, a such a huge shift y'all your commitment is being tested had that krishna card as well same type of energy it's like your commitment your commitment okay so what's the energy for Libra, please, Spirit? A time to give right now rather than take. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Have faith in your dreams, and you are very close to achieving your goal. Gibbous Moon, dig that. Let's grab a message from the Divine Mother. This is the pocket-sized Kali Oracle. Moonology deck, before that. White Light Oracle, before that. Shaman's Dream Oracle. A lot of times you guys ask in the comments what decks. I try to remember to say it in the readings. Um, Ma, what's the message for Libra, please? I literally knew that I... Thank you, Ma. Kali overcomes karma, realigns us with our path when we veered off course, reverses the momentum of negativity, and detaches draining energy cords, restoring us to full vitality. It may seem like your will's being thwarted or you're not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she's doing. Her actions will benefit you, Libra. Trust. Family. Again, you know, I hope you're able to take something from this message. Um, if you were, or if it was entertaining at the least, I would appreciate it a ton if you'd slap that thumbs up. Share this video if you think it'd help anyone. Um, make sure you're subbed. I've been noticing a lot of uh, numbers going down as YouTube sometimes comes through and just unsubscribes people. So make sure that you are subscribed. You have that bell notification hit. And y'all know the drill. If you've been hanging around for a while, um, we're going to take a second to take a deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will, our visualization, our imagination to draw from the air this divine cosmic energy, this prana. Picture it as white or gold light filling your body, filling your aura as you're inhaling. We're going to pause and hold the breath at the top and imagine ourselves glowing as bright as we possibly can and then as we release we're going to exhale very forcefully watching any negativity any blockages any stuck stagnant energy we're going to watch all of that leaving us in the form of like black or gray smoke or static or whatever comes most naturally to you so first things first libra take a deep complete breath out empty your lungs fully and then we'll get this breath in go ahead and breathe out Empty, empty, empty. Now breathe in. Hold it, squeeze, mula bunda. Lift up on your perineum. Raise that energy up your spine. Now pull it down and lock it into your heart space. Watch yourself glowing as bright as you possibly can. And... Release, Libra, gang, gang. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hope this message found everybody blessed, well, and in great spirits, man. And I hope to see you beautiful beings on the next reading. Peace.